YouTube, I am back at Barking Station on platform 5 this time. Pulling in behind me is a westbound district line train, which I'm about to catch to take you one stop to East Ham. Yes, that's right, it's time for the fourth episode of TFL by Postcode in E6. E6 is made up of East Ham and Beckton. East Ham Station is on the District and Hammersmith and City lines and is in between Zones 3 and 4. Galleons Reach and Beckton are both stations on the Docklands Light Railway and are in Zone 3. Beckton is proud to have its own bus station but of course all areas are served by London buses and London Dial-A-Ride. <laughs> history and to tell that history you have to look up here to this little um, detail and if you're wondering what is that uh, it's the letters L T S R so the London Tilbury and South End Railway what we now know as the C2C Railway uh, and the London Tilbury and South End Railway used to actually call at East Ham before district line train services uh, entered and now it's just on a express line and they don't stop at the station but you can still see them as they speed past the station and to point out the second thing the second important thing about this station's history I need to go to the end of the platform where now the train continues down to Upminster. Now the station actually was once uh, the terminus of the district line. When the district line was electrified in 1905, uh, because the line up to Upminster wasn't electrified yet, so people uh, who wanted to get all the way to Upminster or on different stations on that branch needed to change here for a steam service that would take them there. But until then, the train stopped here. This was the eastern terminus of the district line. And now we're going to go to the other platform, the eastbound platform. But to do that, we need to cross this footbridge. So now, let's cross. There's some beautiful views up there. Oh, oh dear. The footbridge is, uh, it's closed. It says no access for pedestrians. It's probably such a beautiful footbridge, but I hope for the residents of East Ham that it will return soon so you can get some beautiful shots of the trains arriving and departing at East Ham Station. Okay, so I have wondered for a very long time why East Ham is called East Ham. So what I have is my handy guide. Thank you, David Hilliam. You're a legend. Um, and I found uh, the name East Ham. So it says, the old English word ham meant a low-lying water meadow. So this village is, has gained its name from the marshy lands some distance from West Ham. So now I've uh, left East Ham Station 
I'm heading down to the end of High Street North and the purpose of that is to go and see the Town Hall and the Library and something which is very important to London's transport history. Nelson Street, beautiful Nelson Street. Now we're going to find out what that crucial bit of history about London's transport is. Are you excited? If you are, please like the video. Thank you. We get to all of this building, and this building used to be the tram depot. That's a bit of history for you there. And uh, there's a crest somewhere which signifies like it's a London trams, but this is where the trams were stored you can see there are huge garages here and each of them would probably be enough for at least two trams maybe more i'm just going to press the button yeah. you have to go to that mic yeah. and make the announcement when i say one two three go come inside so what's the name of the bus again two seven three seven six three seven six two to Beckton Station. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so now we're coming the 376 to Beckton Bus Station. Very kind dri driver allowed me to make the announcement. driver 
Beckton Station was opened on the 28th of March 1994 as part of an extension of the DLR from Poplar. The bus station opposite it was opened in November 2008. The station is unmanned, just like other open-air stations on the DLR network, and it has no ticket barriers, which is a bit of a problem because people can dodge fares. There used to be a railway station with the same name, first run by the Gaslight and Coke Company, and then by the Great Eastern Railway. This was all back in the 19th and 20th centuries. The station would serve the Beckton Gasworks, which no longer exist. There was a proposal for a station in Beckton to be built on the Fleet Line some time after, which was then renamed as the Jubilee Line. It would have been the terminus of a branch from Custom House. This is Beckton. Front of the train, VIP seats. This is my favourite part of the DLR, the Beckton branch. It's got beautiful views. And I've never been to the end of the line yet. It's time to do it. Galleon's Reach station was opened on the same date as Beckton and other stations on the new branch. It's the sixth least used DLR station and is also, like Beckton, unmanned. It sits atop a viaduct and you can get down either by a lift or stairs. Just like at Beckton, a special service is run from Poplar or Canning Town to Beckton from time to time just like this train pictured here. The stop after it is Cyprus, which is just outside E6, which unfortunately doesn't make it part of this video. I will cover Cyprus one day, and I'm saying this with assertion. An extension to Beckton Riverside and Thamesmead Central was recently proposed by TfL. I've made a video about that previously, which would mean that DLR trains would cross the River Thames. Anyways, let's move on. Just north of this station is a crossover junction which is used for trains going to the Beckton DLR depot, which is exactly where we'll be going next. These lifts are really beautiful. They're on most of the uh, Beckton branch stations. Okay, so we're in the lift, travelling down to ground level and then we're going to go out and walk to <laughs> Beckton DLR Depot. Very exciting. <laughs> so I've just noticed uh, if I look through here in the distance do you see that blue and white train? Yes, that's right. That is the new DLR rolling stock train. They've got, I believe, only one at the moment. But it's amazing to see it. I've been wanting to see it for such a long time. And this bus stop right here is actually called Beckton DLR Depot. Those are the tracks which lead to the depot where the trains are kept and maintained. And then it leads out to, I don't know where, honestly. But there's actually a train crossing and there's a light which tells you when you can go and when you can't go. So that's a nice addition.
that you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's nice after a month to do another TFL by postcode video. So I had a very fun day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.